Inspired by the Jordan 4 team, today here we have the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys today and of course we do have an on foot. So make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But before we start on this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate the love and support you guys been giving me. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description box. Besides that, let's dive in straight into these Jordan 4s. All right, guys, so start with the box as we always do. If you guys know me, you guys know I love a good box, and this box is very good. It looks nice, it's shiny, it has some like, it looks like it's glittery. It matches the shoe, the oxidized green. It looks good on the box, you, and it shows that Jordan team is putting some effort into these releases, into the box. You know, I'm a guy that I keep all my shoe boxes, and when they look this nice, I appreciate it. You know, I, I spend my money for the shoe, and I spend my money for the box. Although it probably costs barely anything to, to create this box, but you know, I still like a good box. So, besides the whole box in that green colorway, you have the jump in in white, you have flight written in white, and that's really pretty much it. I'm gonna show you where the label at. It's how the label looks. I'll insert a screenshot so you guys can see the label look clear, and i also read it for you guys. The label reads Air Jordan 4 Retro White Oxidized Green White is the colorway. Um, this is size nine and a half in men's, women's 11. Um, stock code is FQ8138103, made in China, men's UK is an eight and a half, women's UK is an eight and a half. Now let's open this bad boy up. You have the interior of the box and a regular standard green. It's not that oxidized shiny green on the outside. It's just regular flat green inside. You have your standard um, Jordan 4 paper wrapping and that's it. Alright guys, so now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoot and talk about some details. So first off, this shoot is releasing Saturday, June 15 at retail of $215. $215 for men sizes. It is coming out in full family size run. We do have the pricing at grade school. We have the pricing at grade school at $160. The grade school price is $160. We have the preschool price at $100. And you have the toddler size at $85. And just in case you guys are not aware of this yet, if you guys do not want to pay the retail price, you guys can get these at very still price. Um, it is under retail and a lot of the other platform um, prices on the market. So if you guys want to save a little $30 um, or $20 or $40 maybe, it is sitting under retail. Although these are under retail guys, do not sleep on them guys because these are nice. These are nice and I hate to see that Jordan 4s, oh, overall I hate to see good shoes go under retail. And, uh, you know, honestly, it's good. It's a good thing because for the people that really want the shoe, people that really love shoes and, you know, not getting shoes, you know, to make money, they're, they're getting shoes to wear or collect. It's really good because you could cash it still, you could save money. But in my honest opinion, I think this is a still of 2024, especially when it comes down to the Jordan 4s. Alright guys, so now that we have it up close on the camera, you guys can see the whole detail of the shoe. You have the colorway white, you have the hit of green, and you have a hit of cell. Majority of the shoe is that white colorway on the upper of the shoe, which the material is all leather. On the upper, the whole the whole material on the upper is all leather on some Jordan 4s. Um, you know, as, as you guys know, there's some hits of leather, there's some hits of sometimes suede, and there's some hits of plastic. But with this, is fully leather on the whole upper, and the quality, the material, is good. Like from a rating one to ten, for material wise, I'm giving this a solid like a good eight point five. This is very good. This is very good. The shape is like the, the shape of the Jordan Four is like the recent ones that we've been getting with the SB Nike, uh, with the Nike SB Jordan Fours. With the breads, with the military blues. The you have this area right here, the wing, that usually sometimes be plastic. You have that in leather as well. Which you guys are up close look, so you guys can see you have that good leather material on that 
spot that usually be plastic. You have the back of your heel, your heel tab right here that's usually plastic. You have that in full leather all around right here. Some good leather, not no cheap leather. Some good leather. You have your tongue and leather as well too. And white. You have your patch in white with a jump in and that oxidized um, green. And you have flight written right here. Kind of like a very light. I'm not too sure if it's a light. Yeah, I'll say it's like a baby bluish um, light. Um, it's like a light baby bluish colorway written flight, which I think looks pretty nice. You have some white flat laces. You have your um, eyelids right here in that green colorway as well too. You have behind your cages that mesh in that green colorway and you have the white cages. You have your inside of your shoe, your sock liner in the silk material and it is green, that green colorway. Feels very nice. The silk definitely matching the vibe of the, the shininess on the green areas right here. And on the box, I feel like the, the silk matched that vibe a lot. You have the back of the tongue as well in that silk colorway. You have the upside down Air Jordan written right there on the patch. You have the jump in inside in white and the rest of the insole in green as well. You have some more hits of green. When you go to the midsole area, you have the green right here, some green in the front, and you have the hits of cell around your air unit right here. Got it. Let's go to the outsole of the shoe. You have some hits of green right here. Jump in and white. You have some hits of white. Another green. You have some hits of gray and gray. Alright guys, so now that you guys seen an up close look of this Jordan 4 and seen some on foot footage of this Jordan 4, comment your rating and your honest opinion and I'm gonna start first. And my honest opinion and my rating is a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10 and I don't think I'm exaggerating. This is a very good release and a very slept on release. I'm not too sure, just the numbers are very high, the, the um, stock numbers are high that it seems like it's a very slept on or it's just people just really don't like it. but. Don't get me wrong, when it first rumored to release, when I first seen rumored pictures, you know, I was, uh, eh, I was gonna get it regardless because I'm a Jordan 4 fan, but when I started seeing more pictures, more videos, and it, when I got it in hand, in hand, I was like, yeah, these are nice. Uh, nice. These are nice. So if you guys don't have your mindset yet, think about it real deep. You guys have some days, you guys have some time. Regardless, it's under retail right now. Think about it. Do not sleep on it. Because this is a very good release. This is a very good release. You're not gonna you're not gonna waste your money. This is very good quality, very good quality Jordan 4. It looks nice. It's all leather. We don't get these like that. It's all leather. You have the oxidized green. It's not a green that we usually see a lot, but it looks nice. And it's nice to see Jordan team putting some efforts into these releases and making our money's worth. So definitely this is not a 10 for me in my opinion. I think it's worth it. I think it's a must cop. If you guys love Jordan 4s, definitely add this to your rotation but now let's dive into, into sizing in case you guys do not know what size to go for when it comes down to these Jordan 4s so guys you guys can go through the size you guys should be perfectly fine although some things did change from previous Jordan 4s last year a few years ago whatever it is it's still the same thing whatever size you usually go for when it comes down to Jordan 4s just go with that, that same size if you guys never had a Jordan 4 going through the size if you guys have a Jordan just go with that same Jordan size you guys usually have it's usually all the same thing going through the size should be perfectly fine when it comes down to Jordan 4s guys but that's much about the video guys if you guys enjoyed this video guys please don't forget to like comment subscribe if you guys enjoyed the on foot don't forget to like comment subscribe guys I appreciate the love and support you guys have been giving me it's Snickers and Chris I'm out again do not sleep on this release it's very nice I'll catch you guys in the next one Snickers and Chris I'm out